So the bridge itself, was that a good night for you? That was a nice night out? Definitely. It was super fun. A fun-filled night, fun-filled performance, full of paint. It was, it was very adventurous, but I like to do crazy, spontaneous stuff like that, so it was fun. You clearly still get a buzz out of performing. It must be, uh, to have the freedom to do something like that, that must be a real thing. Thank you. I do love it. I do love it. But really, I came to the Brits just to stalk Adele. It really was nothing about me. It wasn't about the Brits. It wasn't about the performance. It was really just to see Adele again. I saw her at the Grammys. I mean, I love her. And does she know the uh, depth of your feelings for her? She has no idea. I'm going to find someone else <laughs> like you. <laughs> I'll stop because I don't want to make you cry. But <laughs> is that one of those songs that does it for you? My, my heart is quivering right now. <laughs> I got chills. Uh, but it's a handful of you uh, performers who I think are in the top kind of uh, ranks at the moment. There's you, there's Katy Perry, there's Gaga, there's Adele, there's uh, Beyonce. That's kind of it, I think, the, you know, the, the young women who can fill those stadiums and really come yes. on there. And I guess, is there a rivalry between them? There's a friendship between some of you, I'm sure, but... It's a... It's, it'll always be a competition. And that's why... I feel like women are becoming so dominant in music right now because we are very competitive beings and we cannot stand to see another woman do better than us, yeah. you know? That bothers us a lot, you know? As much as you guys have egos, our egos are a little bigger. We're just a lot better at hiding them. <laughs> so, but you put the work in just like they do. You're someone I know. You, you're phenomenally focused at work. You did just did a tour. How many dates was it? It was... Uh, it's 106, 101. 101 days yeah, in 20 countries. Pretty much non-stop when you factor in the uh, travel. Uh, you've had six singles out over the last year or so. You've had any number of albums. I mean, you kind of are really pushing away. Do you work too hard, do you think? I know there was something, it was described in the press as of a, bit of a bit of a meltdown you had in, in Ireland last year. Hmm. <laughs> Let's be more specific. <laughs> because I would say Ireland, Ireland was the beginning of the European leg of the tour, so... I was just getting back from a bit of a break, not really much, but you know, I went to Barbados, I did some shows there, some festivals, and then Ireland, we start, shot a video and started the tour there, so I wouldn't, I mean, so far from. Oh, so this was the <laughs> video in the field? Yes. Where you got turfed out? <laughs> that would be that one. So you were in the field and you just were, you were flashing or something? What was going on? And uh, the farmer <laughs> didn't want to see the, the wares on display or something? What was the deal there? What was your perspective of it? Uh, I guess... I'm just going to blame the director. <laughs> that's like a good idea. Melina. I, I mean, we're both crazy, and that's why we work so well together. Um, but we have no way of reeling each other in. We, know, we just go for it all the way. So you egg each other on, even? <laughs> I would say. But it didn't really work out in Ireland for us that way before the farmer came and, you know, got us quickly off of his land. You know, he, he, he just had a different... And it was OK. Different world. His personal model. We got the shot, yeah. so it was fine. So did he actually say, <laughs> all you kids, get off of my land? Did he say that? Uh, all we heard was... Ch -ch. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to say much, really. I'm just kidding. But he came over. He was nice about it. And I was, but you know, he, he trying to be even nicer. It just didn't fit with his worldview. One of the things I loved is when you went to the Brits, and the Brits was at the O2 uh, Arena, which is kind of a difficult place to get to if you're driving. You can go <laughs> down the river. Driving always takes you ages to get there because it's a kind of bottleneck of traffic. You, you went there, you used the tube to get there, didn't you? Yes. You went <laughs> on the tube, which I find remarkable, that a superstar... And so we have a picture of you. This is uh, Rihanna <laughs> taking the tube down to the O2. Well, oh, that was when I was going to my concert. OK, so you used it to get to your concert as well? Yeah, I mean, there's so much traffic. It's an hour and a half approximately to the O2 every time, and it's like 10, 15 minutes on the tube. So that so. makes perfect sense. Yeah, I hate waking up early. I hate having to... I'm always late, so the tube is like 10 minutes. Ideal. And, and have you taken the leap yet? Have you got yourself an Oyster card? <laughs> I didn't get that far, no. but I'm working on it. Well, next time. Well, we'll I'll put a word in. I next know time I'll take the tube here. OK, next I'll, time. When I get my Oyster card, I'll, I'll be back. So when do, you, when do you have time? You mentioned you went back to uh, Barbados. Yes. You come down. I guess you go back to see family, to see friends. Yes, my you... friends, my family. Had a beach holiday? Always a good time on the beach. Mm -hmm. Barbados is pretty much perfect, honestly. It really is paradise. And what do you call people from Barbados? They're called uh, Bajian? Bajian. Bajian. Or Barbadian. Barbadian. Yeah, okay, Barbadian uh, is the correct term. Okay. Bajan is, you know, 
But they must be so proud of you because you must be, I guess you're probably the biggest star ever to come out of Barbados, aren't you? Barbados, they've been very supportive and I will always, always, always represent them because, you know, even though I don't agree with everything they say, I'm sure they don't agree with everything I say and do either. That's my home, it'll always be home and that can never change. I can only come from one place. So Barbados will always be home. Uh, okay, let's delve into your private life, if we might. <laughs> Dive right in. Okay, are you, uh, you are a single lady at the moment, I believe? Yes. She's a single lady. Are you, uh, are, you are you looking for a special someone at the moment, or are you just enjoying being a player? What are you doing? Neither. Okay. Not looking, and I would not tell you that this is something to enjoy. Okay. It, single life is so overrated, and maybe just for me, but... It's really, please, maybe that's the one single person in here that clapped, but it sucks. <laughs> you always want to be single when you're in a relationship, but trust me, that's so not, no bueno. So you, just, no you, miss, you miss having someone special in your life right now then? I think that I have, an, I, I have such incredible experiences in my life that you don't want to live your life and then meet someone, you know? You want to share your life with someone. Yeah. And I feel like that's, that's what I'm missing right now. If there were sort of single guys here in the UK, w would you be interested in a, a British guy? Judging by... <laughs> no, no. Let's not... No, let's not... That's that's not not sure. everyone can live up to this standard, <laughs> Rihanna. That would be this foolish of you this to hope. This is true. <laughs> but you have to reach for the stars, you know? <laughs> uh, but do you get... Uh, do, uh, guys intimidated by you? I imagine they must be a bit intimidated by you. Yeah, but I mean, if, if, if in that case, then they probably aren't the right one, because mm -hmm. I can't do that. Would you uh, consider someone who's already in the music business? Would you like someone to be outside the music business? It really doesn't matter. I don't, I don't really think about that, that kind of stuff. I'm just looking for, I'm not looking for, but I'd love to... The right person. ...date somebody cool, fun, funny. Cool, fun. Would you consider an older man? <laughs> no. Lionel's back on the market. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd be Wee Wee Witchy. That kind of sounds dope, you know. Yeah.